here's the scenario. I have a shape, an object in SketchUp, and I want to take all the polys and kind of unfold them and connect them all and put them in a 2D plane. What's the easiest way to do that? Yep, I mean, you guessed it. Uh, I kind of spoiled it because of the name of the video, of course, but uh, it's an extension called Unwrap and Flatten Faces. Uh, I'm going to walk through that in this video. First off, it is an extension, so you need the desktop version of SketchUp to use it. Uh, so you need the Pro or Studio subscription. Good news is that Pro now has a monthly offering, so it's a little more flexible if you're just working on a project-by-project -project basis, don't want to commit to a full year. You can check out the monthly version of uh, SketchUp Pro. So go ahead and do that if you're interested. Let's get to the video. So, uh, like I said, Unwrap and Flatten Faces is an extension. You can either get to uh, the extension warehouse through this extensions extension warehouse menu or just through the extension warehouse icon on the toolbar as it loads here. I'm just going to search for Unwrap and, and here it auto populates. Unwrap and Flatten Faces, that's the one you're looking for. Uh, and you can see here it's by Alex Schreier, kind of a SketchUp celebrity, um, but more info here. You can install the extension. Um, it is free. However, there is uh, an option if you find some use out of it, you can uh, contribute to Alex uh, in here and have there's more information on his website as well. Like I said, I already installed the extension, so um, let's talk about it. Um, you can get to the extension by either the right-click menu or going to Tools, unwrap and flatten faces and it does just what what it says if you say unwrap and flatten there you go you have uh, the kind of the geometric net of all these uh, polygons that make up this shape um, there are a couple options that we can walk through in the menu here so in the settings uh, you notice there that it went on the ground plane that's this flatten normal to z-axis you might be able to guess. You can also do it on the X or Y axis. We'll go into that later. Um, colorize, as you saw when I did it, it changed color. You can say yes or no, helpful for if you kind of split it up into different pieces. Um, iterations, this is maxed out right now, but the default is a thousand. And from what I've used it for, it seems like a thousand works. Um, we can talk about that later. And then there's a couple options here for dialog boxes that pop up. I just have them hidden uh, because hey, I don't need extra dialog boxes popping up. Anyways, okay, that's fine. So uh, you saw the pyramid here. I'll move to the next one here, which uh, you saw in the intro. Uh, I'll just paint all these faces to get it back to just regular SketchUp geometry here. Um, so, like I said, you can either just straight up unwrap and flatten all in one piece, or you can do it in sections too. And sometimes this can be helpful if you want it laid out uh, a particular way. And what's nice about the, when it colors the geometry is it is, you can tell which pieces are from which, um, from which pieces of your object. So, you know, here's the top, here's the bottom of this uh, D20 here, and then here's that middle section. So, nice options to have. Um, I also thought it'd be cool, suppose you have like kind of a, a scale model where you have, you wanna make a paper model of this, and you have this roof. Not to scale, but uh, for this, doesn't matter. If I select this and um, unwrap that, I could, um, you know, lay this out on a sheet of paper uh, using layout or whatever, or uh, just in SketchUp, I suppose, if the scale didn't matter. And then, you know, just cut out along these lines and then fold along these interior lines and then just tape that up. And then that's kind of a, a quick way to get your 3D plan into 2D. I should mention this extension really is useful when you have 3D and you're going to a, a 2D kind of created thing, whether it's just a regular printer or like CNC or um, laser cutter, or you know, if you have a fabric um, layout that you 
that you want to put into 2D and cut. Um, these are all good uses for this. Speaking of um, paper <laughs> and printers, uh, look at this. I'm pretty proud of this. I, I, <laughs> I modeled this uh, paper airplane. And as you can probably guess, when I unfold it or unwrap it, it has all these lines on here. So I could, again, print this out as kind of a template and say to a, a young child, perhaps, this is where you fold in order to make this um, paper airplane that flies on its own. It's a piece of paper that flies. That's pretty uh, interesting and unique. <laughs> okay, I was pretty, honestly, I was proud of the plane, but I'm more proud of this one. So I was like, what kind of interesting packaging could you have that you would lay this out and then make a template that a designer could use? And I was thinking, aha, what if I had this delivery box and it delivers flowers. As I turn on x-ray mode, you can see in here, I have flowers in here. Um, you can imagine as I flatten this out, this would look like flower petals coming down. Um, I don't have any designs on here. I'm not a graphic designer, but if I wanna make a template and send to my graphic designer, um, here is a way that I could do that. So I'll just make a copy of this so I don't accidentally select that vase. Actually, I'll move it a little bit further over and just select these and flatten. Now this is gonna happen sometimes, uh, especially as your geometry gets more complex, you might not get the results that you're after. And there's a couple things on here uh, that Alex has included, ideas for um, better results. Um, unwrap in segments is the key, the key idea here. So I wanna make for my template, I want these petals to be connected to the base here. So actually I'll just unwrap just these ones. And then now you can see that color coded it's on the bottom, but these two, and then I could go in here and, um, I don't need to, these are all identical, so I don't need to unwrap all those, but I could just, um, five X, and here I have my template that I can send to my graphic designer. Uh, see, now you can visualize that uh, that flower opening up as you get your flower delivery. Isn't that nice and whimsical? Anyways, um, so, you know, I could say here would be the actual flower pieces. And then here is like the, I don't know, the back of it or some other kind of design. Uh, so I could share this out as a template for my uh, 2D designer. Um, for my new packaging startup that I started, uh, I'm looking for uh, angel investors let me know. <laughs> Just kidding. But okay, so last option here is, you might have seen it when I did the, uh, the context click menu. When I select the geometry, well, okay, here's another note. I should have said this up top, sorry. Um, you, it doesn't work on group geometry. You can see it doesn't show up. It has to be on raw geometry. So I'll actually explode this first. A uh, good reminder me by grouping this earlier. But um, the other option that I have besides unfolding, because if I tried to unfold this, it would kind of just be a mess, is um, smash or project, um, which basically just, you know, gives you a side view and then projects it onto whatever plane you're looking at it from, or not you're looking at it from, but that you um, specify in the settings. So remember I said the z-axis, y-axis thing. So I'll do this in the x-axis instead and then select all these guys and say unwrap and flatten, but smash or project. Aha, okay, cool. Now I have a nice uh, elevation view of my chair and with just a little cleanup, have this uh, plan view of my chair there that I could use for um, different uh, visualizations. And again, I can also do that on, uh, let's change the settings down to Y. And now smash that. 
And then now I have the elevation from the other side. So um, a cool little add-on to this extension for sure. Check it out. So those were a couple different ideas that I had uh, when I first saw this extension and was like, oh, that'd be cool to try out. Uh, have you used it for anything else or can you imagine using it for anything else? Um, you know, we talked about folding up paper and maybe printing stuff out or using it for um, different kind of 2D fabrication ideas. But um, yeah, where would it be helpful for you? Let me know. And uh, if you like it, this video and have any other ideas for other videos, leave a comment down below, hit the like button. And hey folks, take it easy.